Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Tino the Last Days of Europe, one of my probably most played mods on this channel, but regardless, we got quite a few comments to go through, and we've just gone to war with uh, the uh, Moscow Autonomy. Actually, what do we have here? Outdated equipment? Um, What do we have outdated here down here? Ooh, oh yes, ah, the tool, tool class. We're so, we have 52 dockyards, which actually, honestly, it sounds really, really good to me. Um, But yeah, that's okay. And more battleships, because we love battleships. Cool. But right now, we've taken how many casualties? Zero. We've killed off 37,000. Wow. Yeah, that's how we ended the last episode. Jesus Christ. And, of course, Switzerland. Uh, so, so, send support to the Moscow Autonomy. They'll get theirs, of course. If you want to read about this, please go right ahead. And Sweden. And Odenstadt Burgund. Wow. Serbia. Well, next comes to Ukraine. The Yanks oppose us once again, but what else is new, of course? Uh, they'll get theirs eventually, but I'm not really too concerned about that right now. We're doing integrate the administration, of course. I'm, uh, you can probably tell, I'm not super worried about this war uh, with those guys, so. Um, yeah, I don't know or remember ever read this, but if you'd like to do it again, please go right ahead, so. Up next, let's do Operation Rurik. With the completion of War Plan Zero, the, or, the, or, oh, the golden fields of Ukraine once again lie for the taking. Securing this former Reich's Commissariat is of vital importance for the continued prosperity of the Reich, for its grain production far surpasses that of most of the Reich because of this. Their taking of the breadbasket has been deemed of utmost importance and is the only thing which now the militarists concern themselves with. I'm only doing that to help extend the border that Romania has, so if we go all the way to here to here to here, it'll be easier to pierce through their lines, at least hopefully. So, so we have less defenses. The offense stands with Moscow autonomy. They'll get theirs. We don't care. The offense again. Uh, which one was it? Uh, Guyana. Now it's Belize and Australia, New Zealand, Canada. Cool. Panama. Awesome. Can we call all of our allies? Oh my goodness. We've lost 62 guys. There's 63,000. I think this is a fair trade off. Ah, some Sona. Even though I might not even use it. Actually, right now we should really just be focusing more on this. But we already are, which is pretty good. It is 1967, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Let's get some more artillery. Because you, me, and just, just a buttload of artillery, man. Um. If it's not a buttload, we don't want it. Nope. Out of context, that sounds really, really bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Alright, so we've lost about 130 versus... Nikes, baby boys. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Get me all excited when I see that much damage d done. Oh yeah. And integrate the administration. It followed up with Operation Rurik because we need to go to war quickly. Fear a directive 76 in the 40s, the German nation experienced its most glorious victory in history on the lands of Eastern Europe. It didn't take too much time before Kiev and the whole of Ukraine bowed before our unstoppable forces. In the end, the flying swastika flags and the marching pansies on the fields of Ukraine were once more the undisputed proofs of our strength and will of victory. Even at the hottest time of the Reich later, it still reminded it to be the sweetest memory of the entire German nation, including the Fuhrer himself. Now decades have passed, and we just find that we are going to repeat our success once again on the same land against a different enemy. Therefore, the Fuhrer just given a special directive to the Wehrmacht that they are requiring to take or required to take Kiev and Ukraine as fast and as quickly as possible. For a German Reich reborn, what can make the world realize that the invincible Wehrmacht has returned except or expect an even more successful campaign on the familiar land? Army Orgo will increase by 12%. Take Kiev at all costs. That sounds awesome. That sounds really awesome. Unless you're Ukrainian, so sorry to my Discord. One of my Discord mods, so sorry. It is what it is. We we'll love you. That's why we're coming back. What is this? The situation in Ukraine. The leaders in Ukraine have limited success in reforming the Reichs Commissariat in a home for all. This has, however, exposed new cracks which we can easily exploit. The German loyalists represent the German minority, which despise the new Ukraine, but this does not mean that they are loyal to us. The Cossacks, on the ha other hand, yearn for more freedom after they had taste. Given the right chances, they are more than happy to help us if they still believe in its interest. Both sides are highly suspicious of the other. If our deals are discovered, it would likely mean an end to a cooperation on both sides. Extremely low, extremely low. Uh, lower suspicion. Lower suspicion. Provoke these guys. Discover us and stop cooperating with us. To attack German resistance cells, we can lower sus. Oh, I don't. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I think we're good for now. Yeah, we're definitely good for now. So. I mean. Jesus Christ. It's a. It's it's a it's a massacre. This is no, this is no longer battles. We've lost less than 300 people for two, almost 200,000 dead soldiers. Can you imagine that? I mean, at this point, they're not even really soldiers. They're literally just... I don't want to say something... Re okay, I was, oh, was going to say something really offensive. Holy crap, but... Um, uh, <laughs> anyways, sorry, I'm, I'm recording this like, at almost midnight, so <laughs> I'm really tired. But anyways, like, 
that's it's basically genocide at that point or something or massacre like holy crud daddies oh we still have only two arm xp we need more i'm gonna go ahead and spend a little more pp and get some into because uh, i would like to get that but if we're gonna get some we must go all the way right we must go all the way we go big and go home here usually usually ukraine and also now i'm glad that rex rex commissar the muscovine is back with under we don't have to get some lands that's great. I love it, love it, love it. Like I did say we'd have some comments to go through, but let's get to some more focuses first, because we're actually kind of tight on time. Operation Hansa. During the Last World War, when one nation after another was conquered by the Reich, Sweden was lucky enough to keep their pity independence due to a mercenary. However, in the last 20 years, Sweden has become a nation of weakness and corruption. It is clear that the Nordic brothers have no future under the incapable rule of these social democrats, and they have to be united with us for the best of the Germanic race. It is a grave insult to our mighty Reich that our northern Germanic brethren remain under the rule of the vile Semites and undesirables. However, the Swedish line has been prowling for the last 20 years, always prepared to strike us if the moment allows it. For this reason, we must not be careless. They might not look at like it, but the Swedes truly are some of our most dangerous foe yet. Train. Train until you're good. And then train more. Operation Laplin. Finland was once a staunch ally of the Reich after the defeat at the hands of the Bolsheviks. They were more than happy to accept our aid and reclaim their lost territories. To that effect, they have wildly succeeded with their help, seizing Karelia and Kola. However, it seems that the Finns have forgotten why they were able to reclaim these territories in the first place ever since the 50s. The Finns have drifted away from our sphere, going so far as to begin looking for trade deals from our greatest enemies. It is time we reminded them to respect those who gave them the fruits of victory. Goring has ordered preparations for a new invasion into Finland to be made, in case they are foolish enough to refuse to join the, uh, the pact. By bringing back the Finns into our lines, we'll slice them off one of America's last lines into Europe and gain near unparalleled access into the Arctic. While the Finns may struggle and many may die, the unstoppable military machine of the Reich will roll over them like a tidal wave. Nice. And let's go ahead and do another one. The Grip Titans, the Great Way of the Balkans. A dangerous foe. Ooh, a tactical location. That's a... Eh. Uh, special forces. I mean, technically, these guys are considered special forces, so... Oh baby, oh baby. Well, we'll come back to that one in a little bit. Let's do send the archives. The maximum command power will be increased by 35, 30 per 30. Actually, that's not really good. Oh, but let's do Iraq. Blitz the open fields. How many more days do we have? Because we got to be. It's not a lot. Of, that's honestly not a lot of time. Two hundred thirty-eight days. It seems like a lot, but it's not really that fast. Deal with the loyalists. Decades of rules love enough Germans who are willing to protect the Reich's land for us in Ukraine, as loyal Aryans. They hate that traitor Harima and his master Bormann as much as us, for days and nights. They're hoping for that for we legitimate government, for, hoping for we legitimate government of the Reich to restore, remove Harima and his followers from the Reich's commissary and restore the civilian in Ukraine. Now as Harima's regime has become our next target to conquer, we can try to make contact with these loyalists for assistance. Behind the battlefront, they can do a lot of intelligence and sabotage work for us, which will greatly undermine Harima's governance. If we can successfully persuade them to help us, they'll surely help us a lot in the military invasion, and even further administra administration's works, open negotiations. Only the loyal sons of Germany deserve our attention. In the fields, entrenchment speed will increase by 30%. Partisans will be prepared to aid our troops in the field. In the villages, hinder enemy movements. In the cities. Ooh... I like the fields because you get bonuses there, but I don't care about entrenchment, I'll be honest. Oh, wait, we don't have to... Wait, technically, we don't have to do this one. Let's wait to do that one, then. Let's... Because we can just go through here. Because we can do this stuff later on, maybe? Uh, are prepared to work. Oh, maybe not. Well, I guess we can't. You know what? I don't know. If you want to read these, please go right ahead. I, I, I just want to kill them off. I love getting more entrenchment speed, which seems really good. Especially if you go to war with America. But, honestly, I want to push this up a little bit faster. So, open fields. APCs. Do we have any APCs versus radar? I mean, radar is okay. We could always build radar. APCs, we have 3,700. We don't need anymore. So, if you worry about blitz open fields, please go right ahead. But, five steps ahead. In modern warfare, information technology is as vital as weapons and vehicles. Based on the new scientific success, advanced systems like military radar will help keep the army to trace all trends on the battlefield and make responses as soon as possible. And the best part is, our battle is always at the cutting edge of this field. However, we still need a chance to show our people and other nations how mighty your devices are. Therefore, the Führer has ordered that this time, during an invasion of Ukraine, our newest and best radars will be deployed to the battlefront. Every move, every action from our enemy will be directly exposed under our watch, and the traitors and Ukrainians will find out that they don't even stand a chance, since we will always have um, be five steps ahead of them. And Ukraine in a flame. I I'm just going to go, go straight to war. Go straight to war with them. Now, everything is ready in the time to reclaim the Reich's commissar at Ukraine from Hermann's hands have finally come. No more can we stand by and let the Spirit parasites usurp and control up the fatherland spoils of the last war. No more can we ignore our loyal brothers under the traitor's regime who are lo longing for our arrival. Yes. 
we are going to take action right now. From and now on, all prepared battle forces will move across the border and march on the Ukrainian field, just like what we did about a few years ago. And our allies will respond to our voices and stand up for themselves against Harima. Soon, the Lakshya Commissariat will become ours again, and all its land resources will be us as well. Which... This is very weird English. But anyways, uh, one of the comments says, Will I play as the Republic of America after conquering it as Goring? So, that's a special little American nation that supposedly has content. I don't, really don't know if it does. I hope it does. But we'll see. Um, you gotta stop training. We gotta go within 14 days, so. Um, yeah, I mean, if it does, I probably will. Like, honestly, if there's any, like, kind of sort of meme-ish uh, campaigns that we could do or stuff like that, I'm totally down for that. Totally, 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 totally down. How strong are these guys? I mean, we're not that strong. They, they're pretty spread out as well. They're not They're not looking too weak. So we'll see. And if these guys give us a little bit of trouble when we begin the war, it's not bad, actually, because you get more army XP that way. So, And before we do that, though, just because you never know what they might have, let's throw on a few more planes. Right there. Really going to go right there. And 400. Do we have more casts? Scepters. We got some jet casts. Oh, my goodness. Look at those attack helis. We made a lot of them, haven't we? There you go. You can come over here, too. And you can come over here. I think that's good preparations for the war. And we have another ship. Yes, destroyers are not great, but hey, we got it for now. Two carriers and three battleships, two light cruisers, and just the rest are destroyers. Which is okay, not great. Now, you guys may struggle. Actually, I should probably have you guys come over here, too, then. Just in case. You know, you never know. Give it a few days, and they'll go straight to war. Ukraine a flame. Burn the promises. Succeed in the conquest of Ukraine. Conquest. Cool. So after this one, we're going to go and just read about the next one over here. Search your archives. I like this one a lot. When the Carpathians were part of the Osterreich, the government had detailed maps of the various Carpathian passages. It is possible, though unlikely, that if we searched in Vienna, we could discover passages to move troops to force a surprise attack on the Romanian positions. Furthermore, though they were traitors, we shared defensive plans with the Reich in the war against the Soviets. Germania being spared by the war is what it was. It may be possible for our men to find something of use amongst these old war papers. Do they not attack us? Alright, they send support. We don't care. They're going to die anyway, so... Cool. Oh, the Japanese oppose us now. Cool. Ignore enemy aid. Oh, yeah, that's probably... Yeah, we probably want to do that one just because it's... It doesn't really matter, honestly. Alright, five, four, three. Let's go. All in. How many divisions do they have? Up to 53. And now casualties are just racking up now. Wow, look at all this. Hold on. 68... 70,000 have died already. Holy crap. Not a helicopter, but a motorized division went to Kiev. Oh, we call our allies, and that's why. There we go. Only 146,000 have died. Okay, in a span of like three hours, 20, 30,000 more people have just died. Can you imagine that? Sort of, actually, yeah, we can. Are you doing forced defense? What's going on here? Well, we lost quite a few more this time. 11,000 uh, versus a third of a million. I mean, come on. Did you really think you had a chance? Maybe we should have had some partisans. But the conquer conquest of Ukraine. Ukraine, the so-called grainer of Europe, has seen many conquerors throughout his her history. Most of them just vanished in dust, but now in, in the end, one conqueror will persist to the end of history itself. Now, for people living on this land, that conqueror has manifested itself. For years of madness under the rule of Rosenberg has left the basement of her dominance poison, polluted by crazy ideas about the liberation of Slavs and the Aryan Slav theory. However, as whole Ukraine was conquered by the Wehrmacht once again, we finally managed to stop this plague before it brings further devastation to the Reich's cause. Though some morales Ukrainians are still trying to resist racial order in Ukraine is eventually recorded and guarded by our loyal soldiers, but there's still one more task for us to do. The Reich's commissariat must be restored to make all resources available for us, as well as keep stability in the region. A widely respected war hero, General Edward Wagner, will be responsible for the governance of Ukraine. In time, Ukraine will become the basement of the greatest of our millennial Reich. We should become the eternal master of Ukraine. Military and industrial participation will decrease. Okay. Create Ukraine and a new home for Ostrich and Brethren. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Alba Bowman becomes leader. Ooh. Okay, so Ukraine still joins us and becomes our puppet. Gottenland joins the Einheit's Pact and becomes a puppet as well. Um, Marionettstadt. Um, uh, Golden Land. What is, is that just Crimea? Why is Golden Land different? And a new home for Ostdeutsch Brethren. I kind of want to see what that one does. I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that a lot, actually. Even though I prefer this one, military industrial participation goes down. I want to see what, that, what that, that's like. Why are you so big? So, Wagner here, 
Um, nothing there. And you have... Albert Bowman. Wow. Interesting. I mean, I've never formed Gotland. I, I still need to play as him in TNO. Or TWR. We are already in TNO, but... That'd be so cool. Now, these guys have quite a massive border of the defend. And we're just going to go in from this side. That's all we're going to do. Now, that's a huge border. They're not going to be able to defend all this. That's why exactly how I, I waited for this. Search the archives, my friends. Search the archives. Oh, and we get infantry anti- Yeah, very good. Very good. Oh my gosh, there's so much here. Operation Tannenbaum. One of the first of the Fuhrer's great invasion plans was to crack the net of Switzerland. Those capitalist pigs in the mountains have set on their mountains of gold, twisting and turning the world's economy like the greedy Jews they are. Our nations become one they have targeted especially, stealing our gold and squeezing our economy. By destroying these snakes and rats, we will free the immense hordes of gold in doing so. Give our economy a boost not seen since the Second World War. Sure, they have been expecting us to attack them for decades. Sure, they've built a fortification line with our hard-earned money that puts the old Maginot line to shame. Sure, they do have some of the best training on Earth. Why does it matter. We are the great Germanic Reich, gosh darn it, and we will conquer and slaughter our way through the heights. Our racial and ideological supremacy will prove itself again, and we'll set the fat bankers and decadent citizens alight with the fire of national socialism, and then we're also going to do that one eventually, but we can't do that yet. So, Operation Nordlich. At the beginning of the Civil War, it was widely expected that Reich's Commissar at Norwegen, the bulwark of the Reich against the Judeo Bolsheviks, would remain calm and stable, ready for, to rejoin whoever came out as victor instead, in, or indeed. Our top military minds claim that Norwegian or Norwegian could and would have held out against any attackers for decades, however, Traders from the inside destroyed the Reich's commissariat, and that fool Tebalvin handed the Reich's greatest fortress over to the people and abandoned Norway to them. Now, the Norwegians own and occupy our miles of forts and bunkers, and promises to be one of the greatest challenges to invade. However, this does not phase our great fear of Goring, who expects no demands its victory to arrive in 1940. After all, the Wehrmacht was able to crush organized resistance and an allied force in just over a month by using those same tactics, along with some of our new technology. We will certainly win a victory just as great, if not greater, than our first conquest. As you can see, I'm just trying to get to rush through these somewhat a little bit, so we'll see. And a uh, traitor's fate. Then we can do a southern front, we can do old friends, we could probably do meet in Bucharest. Armies will be 50% faster, which would actually be really nice. According to blitz from two sides. I kind of really want to do that one, but there's no guarantee, and I want to keep moving on, because right now we have how many days left? We have less than 200 days, that's not good. Holy crap. We're going in. Romania is a traitor nation, and betrayed us, betrayed national socialism, and betrayed its own people. Regardless of its excuses or the difficulty in ensuring that, uh, its defeat, it must be destroyed. Its political classes shall meet the fates of all who betray the Reich. Its soldiery shall serve as laborers in camps. Its land shall be opened up to settlement by worthy people, a victorious people, a German people. When our foes look upon Romania, they shall know what fate awaits them should they dare to try to defy us. Send the message to our commanders, Romania shall fall. Actually, let's come back over here too. Just in case, this is as well. And we will invade Romania. Uh, Norway, too. Soon-ish. Um, so we need England, Switzerland's... Oh! We don't need... What are these? Okay. Well, then. Well, I guess we're not doing them, then. God dang it. Uh, Lapland. We don't need Finland, either. So what's the point of having these guys? Is this part of B? This can't be part of B, right? I guess we can do this stuff, like, after this stuff is all done. We'll keep doing that one. That's nice. Actually, since we have this here, anyway... Ways, um, 40 combat width are not bad. I Like I said, I do want some attack helicopters, but that's just a... We can throw them on. All right, then. Looks good. So, Norway... Oh, wait, hold on. So, to do... We're doing that one. Tiny bomb. Phase 1 planning. We we'll probably need to do that one. Sea line 2. We need... Government to Krim. Wait, how do we get rid of them? Where's Ukraine back? We're in the Golden Fields. And part of the German minority... Burn the promises. So we already took them out. Uh, oh, treachery of the industrialists. There's a good reason why national socialism is not only con is contemptuous not only of the Bolshevik pe pestilence that openly defies the natural order of the world, but also the insidious capitalist rot that corrupts its from within. The industrialist caste must be kept in check if they are to continue offering their benefits to the Reich, and those industrialists which have seized power in the Reich's commissary Caucasine have long defied any pretense of checks and balances and reign. In, to reign in their debauchery. Throwing in their law with the traitor Bormann, these money-grabbing swine, sought to secure for themselves impunity in their little patch of Europe, a landscape which could mold, could use mold and use as they saw fit, and contemptuously utilize to enrich themselves at the expense of the German people. Naturally, with the defeat of Bormann's forces in the Bürgerkrieg, these dreams will come to naught. The Wehrmacht has come into these insidious scoundrels, and there's nothing they can do with all their hoarded riches to stop it. Those who defer to the German to Germania might be offered mercy and allowed to continue. The elapsed service of the Fatherland. Those who resist will not live long to regret it for very long. Uh, does this do anything for... How do we go to war with the, uh... Caucasia is really nice, but... 
How do we go to war with... Kerem. Where's Kerem? It does not exist. So how do we kill them off then? If we cannot kill them, how do we go... How do we take them? We need them, like, now. Like, soon, but I guess we'll do Switzerland? Phase 1 planning. As much as we may wish to break the neck of the greedy bankers in the mountains, the fact remains that they've been preparing for an attack for decades. We must first plan to shatter their defenses before we can even get to looting and burning the Swiss. Knowledge is half the battle. And knowing how to crush these fools is the best way to maximize profits and minimize German blood, after all. We'll need that blood for later campaigns, of course. If we must attack soon, we can skip one or two of the precautions. Or, mind fear, we can always skip, simply move on if you truly are anxious. I'm getting a little anxious here. Oh, these guys are looking big. And we're going to throw a lot of men. This is going to be, this is going to be a difficult battle one. Battle one? This is going to be a difficult battle to do. Well, that's why we got air superiority. So, seriously, what, what can we do here? Anything else? Air recognition? I mean, I want to do all this stuff. I really do. We just don't We literally don't have the time. <sighs> Out of government. A good English friends. Orchestrated riots. Hmm... I never realized phase two invasion. Well, we do need to go to war with these guys as well, right? Yeah. Norway. So we need Scandinavia. Okay, so one of these following has to be true. Switzerland has to be taken out. British Isles has to be taken out. As well as to conquer Scandinavia. So we need Finland, Norway, or Sweden. So technically, we don't have to do this one. Um actually. Before we even begin. I need you guys over here now. Go to Bern. Good. Which one has more divisions? 105,000 manpower. 4,000. Quite a few divisions. Quite even few more divisions. Finland, honestly, might be the easiest one to take out. You guys... Oh, you still have that. Okay. How much manpower do you have? 20,000. Sweden... These guys have... You know what? It's probably... Oh. American Volunteer Infantry Division. Oh. That's not going to be easy, then. So, we're going to go to war with Switzerland first. I think it's probably best to just go ahead and chuck them around. It's only seven days. Field hospitals are... Field losses... Oh, but 20%, we can do that one. Due to the mountainous terrain of the Swiss Alps, much of our current hospital infrastructure is unsuitable to be deployed on the front lines. In order to better suit our forces, we must develop and deploy more efficient hospitals to deal with the condensed French Swiss front. Italy threatens France. Our contacts and informants in the French military bring us news of movement on the Italian border. Specifically, it seems that the Italians are holding military exercises in the Alps as an act of blatant intimidation. Should we wish to do so, we can do a bit of intimidation ourselves and tell the Italians to back off. Yet, these are only military maneuvers for now, and such, perhaps such an action against Italy is not necessary. Don't bother. Stop them. Don't bother. I'm getting a little worried here. I know what gets out of the time. And we still have, you know, six months. But still. But still. No, 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 you gotta boost that sucker up. Uh, the debt is but a number. Cool. Aerial recognition bombing effectiveness is not bad. Uh, Mountaineers, okay. Max planning. Remove back to the drawing room. Wait. We have back to the drawing room? Grand ideas? German economy? No? Oh! We do get, oh, we get even more, but eh, that's kind of okay. We're going to go in. Let's see what happens. Like dragons, the Swiss bankers have sat in their mountains, hoarding their wealth and attacking any who dares approach their territory. For years, they've swindled the people of Germany, tricking them into adding to their pile of gold before twisting them all of their money that they, ha they have. According to Afura, the pigs have been meddling with the German economy, directly causing the crash of the 50s. But as in all stories about dragons, one day a knight in shimmering armor will come to the dragon's lair. Though the dragon may breathe fire and roar, inevitably the good knight slays the beast and takes the wealth. We are the knight, and we will defeat the dragon and take that wealth with steel, lead, and fire of our own. It's time to end the dragon once and for all to war. I'm sure I could probably wait a little bit longer, but these are okay. I mean, bombing effectiveness is pretty nice, but after this one, breakthrough. We've managed to break through the Swiss border. Reinforce rate. Chop off the head. By limiting the Swiss leader, we can cripple their defenses. Firebombing them. No rest. Um, Explodes a Schwerpunkt. Eh, that's not bad. The meat grinder. I like this one. We can use extra manpower. It's not much, but we'll take it. The Swiss defenses have, are heavier than previously thought. Much heavier. Even the most dire expectations of bunkers, trenches, mines, and all the other uh, trappings of war seem like jokes in comparison to the wall of lead that seemed to lock us out of Switzerland. Fjord Goring, after sending his intelligence team to the nearest prison, has issued an order to conscript more men to replace our numerous losses. Lord knows we need it. Hopefully not, but yeah, they got a lot of stuff down there, so we'll see. Um, it is still 67, which is good, which is fine. It's dandy. We're not quite there yet. Let's do this one, because we're about to go to war as well. Improved carrier hole is very good, too. And thank you. We're not going to go that stuff, which is fine. That stuff is okay. 
I'm just worried about our ships, man. I really sort of am, so. I guess we can do that one, why not? And out of the Kalas. Right? Yeah. Oh, we don't have that one. Rostock, Frigates, Lundorf. Do we not have another... Look at, all, look at all these ships here. Jesus Christ. What's outdated as well? Anything else here? Convoys, out of the class, out of... Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Jeez Louise, man. Well, I'm thinking we could always upgrade this guy as well. Do we need better hangar space? Because eventually you get some bigger hangar space, I think, as well. Our deck armor? No, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. I'm probably wrong about that. Anything else? Four? No. Well, whatever. I hope this goes well for us, man. I, I'll be honest. I hope it goes well. It says it will. We have some um, spies in their lands, too, so it should go okay. Oh, nice. Covert operations, wiretapping, why not? Um, I will go ahead and also do rid of the fleet. And which one is... Oh, Operation Hansa. That was, this one's sweet. We want to do Norway. So this one is the one we want to do. So ready the fleet. To begin our operation, we must first cripple the Norwegian economy. Norway's economy is heavily based on naval trade. Therefore, an obvious solution presents itself in the form of the Kriegsmarine. The new Norway's navy is barely existent in the first place, and we will stand absolutely no chance against the might of our battleships. By using our fleet to cut, them off, cut off major ports and blockade the coastline, we will shatter the Norwegian economy, causing economic collapse and driving the Norwegians to poverty and starvation. If the plan succeeds, the Norwegians will be too weak to lift a finger against their forces when we land. Unfortunately, this plan does not does have some flaws. The Kriegsmarine is underfunded and still somewhat damaged from the chaos of the Civil War, and currently is not in the best shape to conduct any large-scale operations, such as a blockade of the long Norwegian coastline. In addition, the fortifications we built with German sweat to hold off any Western invasions complete with naval guns are undoubtedly now in the hands of the traitorous Norwegians and may be used against our fleet. Both of these problems are easily fixable, of course. Pumping money into programs is one of Goring's strengths, and the sheer might of our cannons and weapons will undoubtedly be enough to obliterate whatever puny resistance the Norwegians may put up. In any case, the operation is expected to be a success, so really that's what it means. But let's go get the meat grinder first. Ooh, actually it hurts our war sport. Yeah, I don't know. I mean fifty thousand for eight percent less. I don't know, let's go to ready fleet. Screw it. My bad, guys, my my bad my bad. Adler class, I want more battleships. I want these fat, fat suckerinos. I like them fat. Mmm. Nice. And you know what, since we're here, get some more rubber rubber. One in doubt, get some more rubber. Actually, you know, that's okay. That's okay with us. Uh, free France and ooh. Well, yeah, whatever. That's fine for now. Oh, wow, this is not going well, is it? Oh, how much defenses do they have? Because I might actually just take a moment off out of screen here and look and see what they got. Um, guns? They don't have... Well, they got a few guns here and there. And now I see why Goring always fails here, doesn't he? You know what we're going to do? Oh, what do they even have? That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Cool. So that's interesting. I... I, I've never done this before, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna uh, can we stop attacking? Maybe? Are we actually breaking through anything? Like, are they? They're probably not doing force defense, are they? Uh, no, they're not. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. And as you can probably tell, we're, we're gonna stop the attacks. You can hold and stop the attacks. We're gonna let them come in. Let you guys get around. Let them come in. They can take a piece of German territory. Let them see. Let them be thinking. Think. Let them think that they're going to do well against us. Uh, anything else that we really care about? Oh, okay. So now we can do the endurance problem as well, which is very good to see. Let these guys move around. And that's why I, I needed extra time just in case. And let them come in. And then we will swarm them. Unless AI is scripted to not come in. And I, oh, it really interferes in Romania. Look at that. Go ahead and leave, guys. The Italians grow restless in their latest effort to expand their sphere of influence in Eastern Europe. Our Romanian contacts inform us Italy has been pushing to secure their advantage over Bucharest. We can redouble our efforts in the country, letting Romania know that submitting to Italian pressures is unacceptable. Yet there are many pressing matters in Germany, and we can do also let the matter go. Refuse. Let them come in. Seriously, let them come in. There's absolutely nothing wrong with letting them come in. Let them come in a little bit, and then we'll just force attack everything and just overrun them. That's a goal. Um, contact the hardliners. I do want to go to war as fast as possible, but we have a little bit of time first. Uh, let's talk about this one. I don't know this problem, but we can do that because we're currently at war right now. So, Operation 3 Breakthrough. We can bomb if we really wanted to. I don't really feel like it yet, though. So, we need Scandinavia. So, we're going to go with Norway. England, which is England. And then Switzerland, Switzerland. Oh, impending economic collapse. Oh, we need to be at peace. Oh, it's not completed within 46 days. Okay. 
The paradox of the Reich's financial system is this. We rely on the spoils of war to keep ourselves afloat with ever-growing expenditures. And yet, should we find ourselves bogged down in any of the conflicts, the economy might just collapse. This is what it is, you know. It's just the economy. Lapland, that's Finland, whatever. Quick war. Southern front. At least the dogs. A traitor's fate. Well, we can't do that one just quite yet. We can do this one. We can do this one eventually anyway, so. It's fine with me. I, I didn't even realize that this was a thing. I thought it was just this stuff that we had to keep an eye on. Oh, they're falling apart anyways. That's fine. Good. As they should, so. Let them come in. The deeper they are in a territory, the more spread out they'll be. So, honestly, we'll only need like a week to do this. I'm really not worried about this. Good. Good. And they're on our territory now, so any sort of mass bomb-rushing event should do okay for us. And if it doesn't go well, obviously I will try some stuff to do as well. What is that? They're lining up on the board again? And you're not on core territory? Oh, say it's not so. Wiretapping? We love wiretapping here. And let's go in. Let's see what we can do. I want you guys to force the attack. Because I need you guys. Where are you going? Let me move in down here. Go here. Get here. Let's go. Immediately. Get down there. I need you guys to get down there and go right there. We don't have time to spare. We literally don't have time to spare. I knew this would work. Give me one of you guys. Go here. Go right there. Go and go and go and go. Right there. No, no, no. Right there. Right there. Right there. There you go. There you go, big boys. We love them, big boys. If they're not big, we don't want them. Let's go straight for Baron. Go straight for Baron if you can. Oh, we got it. Before we do, we lost quite a few guys. Like, I'll be honest. That's a lot more than I thought we would. Because I had no idea how bad this was going to be. So, I'll get you need that, ah, See, not too bad. Just gotta know how bad the AI is in Hoyt War. Not bad. Um, I think. Ooh, how many? How many spare planes do we got? Uh, that's not bad. I have V's. I'm just thinking right now. Interceptor not bad. It's got helicopters I don't use. Tactical bombers are fine. Transport helicopters look god awful. Attack helicopters though, looking quite good. I don't think we really have enough. For me to justify putting him on here, just never mind. I already did. Okay, cool, awesome. I already thought ahead of time. Great. Maintenance companies. That's not really worth it. I think right now. I'd love to get support artillery. I just want more soft attack. Of course, getting field hostiles would be really nice too. But what about recon? Recon would slow us way, 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 way down. All stuff would slow us way down. Either maintenance or artillery would be nice. Even more soft attack. I don't know if they're doing okay already. Um, more breakthrough. Slightly more defense. It still lowers our organization. Maybe I'll just leave it alone. Should I use artillery? Should I or should I not? I think I should use it. Nah, I would use it. I love artillery. I just it's one of my favorite things in the game. All right, so from here we've got to plan the invasion of Norway. Exploit their disunity. Well, we're already here doing other stuff, so unfortunately we cannot. But before I begin, though, before we begin, how strong is Romania? That's a lot of manpower. Thirty-two divisions. Uh, you know? Just in case. Just in case. For our health. Now for this, we need another navy here. So, we got a couple... Oh, we have another battleship! Nice! We cut you down in half. There you go. And I want you to stop training. I want you both to repair. Because eventually you're going to do this, this. Uh, no. And then do that. Ah, uh, just do that anyways. Boom, boom. That's fine. And go ahead and repair. Because you need to. Awesome. So let's keep going with the whole Norway thing, because Switzerland's gone, right? Switzerland's gone. Then we need to move quickly through Scandinavia and that other stuff, too. Actually, we might go to war with the Battle of Krim. So as much as I want to spend extra time here, we don't have time for it. I would love to get these extra attack helicopters and transports, but we already make quite a bit, actually. So lessons from Switzerland. Oh, that's not bad. In the 40s campaign against Norway, our bombers made sure to work up any defense that the Norwegians put up. However, our own success with this strategy led us to dotting the mountains and fjords with flat cannons. And now the Norwegians are bound to use their own weapons against us. To combat this, we shall use an invention that the strategists of 1940 could only dream of. Missiles. By building up bases in Denmark, we will be able to fire missiles in all kinds into the mountains of Norway, obliterating any bunkers and forts in a hail of rockets and bombs, without a single German man being forced to lay his life on the line. In addition to the immediate strategic benefit of these bases, they will also be a fine addition 
addition to our defenses against the, any American incursion into Europe, covering the entrance into the Baltic and much of the North Sea. Indeed, some have been even gotten to asking why these positions have not been built before. While the answer to this mainly lies in the economic downturn of the 50s, this issue matters little to the current situation for now. We can rest easy knowing that soon all of, our, all of Norway will be under the reach of our missiles. Good. How many ships? Oh. Well, if you want to do that, please go right ahead, so. Clean up, yeah, we'll definitely do some clean up here. Swiss re oh, ba how bad is Swiss resistance? Are we oh, there it is. Oh, weekly manpower and stability go down. Come on, man. You know, at that point, you just shoot every single one of them. You really do. I'm sorry, but I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm really not. Actually, if we do this, can we just convert you over to this? We need more transport helicopters, but yeah. This is going to be kind of difficult as well, maybe. Because they're expecting us. So, go to Oslo. Actually, one, two, three. If we are smart, we can actually send as many of these guys possible all around Oslo. Because I want Oslo as the forward operating base eventually. So, one, two, three. That'll be good. The first naval vision, this is going to be super important for invasion of England. So, we'll see. Uh, one, two, three. No, one, two. No, come on. There we go. There we go, baby boys and girls. Hmm. This might be enough to invade. It might be. And these guys that are motorized, hanging out, having a good old time, well, they're doing okay. It would, uh, it would help if our soldiers were actually, like, 40 combo with. So, tanky boys. Panzer Division 2s. Would you like to get a little thicker? Get some more APCs as well, because we got enough arm XP for this. We should, at least for now. 40 combo with all the way, baby. We like them thick here. Mm. We're going big to go home. You can probably cut down on these guys a little bit. Just maybe by one. Not much, but by one maybe. So. Cool. Danish missile bases. Bases? Bases. Teaching a lesson. But are, are the guys here yet? Why are you taking so long, guys? Why are you taking so long? So long. These guys are doing okay. How big is the uh, Norwegian Navy? I should... We should probably figure that out. Um, okay, no ships. Good. Good to see. Good to see. But before we begin, let's go and get some spies here, too. Um, is that... I guess that's it. Okay, cool. Awesome. Double up there. We do... We will need to get some more fuel, but that's okay. Teaching a lesson. The time has come. The fleets are armed and ready. Our rockets are primed and fueled, and our helicopters even now will spin the rotors and warm up in anticipation. Our soldiers across the Reich stand at attention, ready to plunge into the mountains and fjords of Norway. The plan is simple and has been drilled into the minds of every soldier's head. We will land on top of their positions, silence their guns, and shatter any defense the puny troops can muster. A quick sweep is not only planned and expected, but demanded. We will take the lightning invasion of 40 and make it seem laughable in the faces of our own strike. Truly, the Norwegians will once again learn to fear us, and the world will look in awe upon the new Germany's might. Cool. Red Flood? Or Red Twilight, not Red Flood. And we gotta rebuild the Dernitz problem. Although Germany proper still has been secure. One part of the Reich still lays out of her hands. The backstab of Dernitz and his band of pirates base out of the Krim. And in particular, the port of Theodor Rexhafen. Oh, Theodor Rexhafen, yeah. We are in an awkward position. The military, led by Schoen, are beating the drums to war and balk at the idea of negotiation, yet Dernitz is holding the majority of our fleet hostage. We need to quickly draft up some plans for a lightning fast invasion of the peninsula and reclaim our ships. Someone did ask me if I could do this peacefully. So we can try. I will, I will give you this. We will try to get them peacefully back. Because I don't want to send 48 divisions here. Or more, how many do I have? 96? Something like that? There you go. And then you guys go here too. Oh, we can go there. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well then. Good luck. You're going to need it. Uh, oh, Iberian Wars. Great. Well, there goes Iberia. Goodbye, Iberia. And I hope you guys succeed. I really hope you succeed. You guys are looking really bad now. But whatever. It's, it's worth it. I swear. It's worth it. I swear, man. I swear. We'll see what happens. We're poised to go, baby. We're poised to go. God, I hope this goes well. We're building a lot of things. Let's get some actual fuel here, just so that we're, like, fuel independent. And we're rubber independent, because I don't want to keep wasting... We're not wasting things here, but it does cost us some stuff, so... Both have carriers, and this one's three three battleships. Jesus. So much for balance. Friday evening at Naval Intelligence. Uh, co uh, Contra Admiral as the Fregatin Captain as the Contra Admiral preparing to leave. We were broadcast from Russia, uh, one of your U boats uh, uh, picked up. The Contra Admiral grumbled, Is that just the station in the southern Urals again? No, sir, it seems to be from eastern Siberia. Was bouncing off a layer of cloud, cloud cover. They didn't get much, but it did get off, 
they did get a bit of it. He handed the Condor Admiral the dispatch. Let's see, said the uh, K.A. Something, something, Soviet Republic, Vladimir Sable, condemning the Hitlerites, freedom for the masters of the East, borders of 36, something, something, workers' revolution. The Condor Admiral scoffed. Looks like Bukharin's back again. Uh, Fregatin Captain. You want to get the higher-ups involved with this, sir? Asked the Fregatin Captain. We may have a serious issue out East. No, 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 no. The uh, Cond Condor Admiral said... As he filed away the report, they've had reports like these come out of the waste for years. They're probably the last we'll hear of these mongrels. The right move, certainly. The right move. Race to Theodore Hopton. Ooh, well, we'll read that if it happens, so. I'm a little... Oh, you know what I didn't do? And that's a big mistake by me. I didn't put any planes down. God dang it. Don't you hate it when you just... You just want to gas your enemies and you forgot to put planes down, of all things. What a shame. I am not cut out to be a military leader now, am I? Then again, I'm an armchair general, so what do you expect? I don't want to touch those helicopters, so... Cast it out, baby. When in doubt, gas them out. Alright, let's see what happens. What type of magic can we make? The Japanese folly. Um, if you want to read that, please go ahead. They'll get theirs, and everyone's going to say, Oh, don't do it, Germany, you're being evil! And I'm like, who cares? Actually, do we deal with this yet? No, we're not. That's not good. Um, donuts. Uh, give us a few days, actually, first. Okay, so we're doing okay. I do want to force the attack, but... We don't have the PP for itself. So. Eh, we don't even need to do that. Um, let's go here. Move out, move out, move out, move, 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 move. Uh oh. Hey, not no. Uh oh, that's actually looking really good. It's okay. If you didn't win, that's fine. Go. Just, just go. Just go. We lost a few things here and there, but that's all right. All right. What does he say? Oh, race? It has begun. We're now in a race against time to crush the traitors and to secure the port facilities in Krim. There's nowhere for Durance and his crew to hide. They're surrounded and trapped. And they know it. We, we must reach uh, Tail Doll Rexhofen and our ships before the swine have a chance. To sabotage our ships or worse, there's no time for delay. We must act now. Are you sure there's nothing else we can do about him? Are you sure? Are you positive? What is this? Uh, uh, Italy. Okay, that's fine. Italy. Is there, is there seriously nothing? I want to rescue the ships. All right, well, I guess we got to go in. Because we have less than 100 days, so I'm a little worried about that. And impending economic collapse, which is not good, but it is what it is, I guess. Oh, how many days do we have? Okay, now we can go, right? Oh, we need to call all of our allies. Don't forget about that, too. There you go. There you go. I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about this, but even then, right, like right now, I'm not worried about it. So, happy 68 though, everyone. Happy 68. Better guns. For the wreck. For your health. Which doesn't give us that many days to actually invade England, but whatever. The Grand Admiral. Uh, oh. But the British Isles, first occupied by Germans in the 5th century, most recently in the 20th, as a bastardized as the British Isles, it is vital that they remain within the pact for the control of the North Sea and the Atlantic was unparalleled for the past 200 years. We're lucky to have neutered their vaulted Royal Navy already. It'll be a simple matter to off the channel and once more subjugate them to the Reich, the Grand Admiral. Dunas was brought before Goring in his private office, escorted by a dozen men, the once most influential figure in the German Kriegsmarine, stood before the fear definitely. Goring looked the man over. This was the first time he'd seen him out of uniform. Still, Durnitz was dressed sharply. His suit was pressed and crisp. Though it wouldn't matter for the military trial, both men knew that within the week, Durnitz would be dead or rotting for a life in his cell, but the silver man still looked up upon the Fuhrer definitively. Goring gestured to the man, uh, to his men, pointing at the door. One of the attaché, a corporal, was about to protest when his superior grabbed his sword, motioning to the door. Durnitz was unarmed, and the Fuhrer had a luger in plain sight on his desk. He was in no danger. The men laughed, leaving the two alone. Finally, Goring broke the silence. Today's your big day, Admiral. The rank was spoken with competent, uh, comp a competent mint. Enjoy your freedoms while it lasts. Do not finally spoke. Enjoy your reign while it lasts. You're nothing but a puppet, though you already know that. His words were calm, as if he was having a normal conversation with a subordinate, not the fear of the Reich. Goring's face darkened. Drop the act, Dunitz. You've lost. Your career is over, and your time in a, not in a cell is nearly an end. I've accepted my fate, Dunitz shot back. It's been over for me since you've won. My only regret is that your victory has spelled the ruin of our country. Dunitz sighed, finally showing emotion. You've always been a bit of a buffoon. You've lost, and you don't even know it yet. Goring has had enough. Who do you think you are, you degenerate traitor? It's like men like you, who you who brought our nation to its knees, and men like you that hold it back. I'll make Germany the greatest nation on earth, and you'll be alive to see it. I, this I swear. For Germany's sake, I hope you're right. I hope we get the navy. And we, unfortunately, I apologize for this again. For this again, I don't have enough time, and I've got to end it here. But let's read one more focus. 
such as out of government. Fascist friends and few are few and far between in England. Oswald Mosley left for Canada when he realized we wouldn't let him have his own fiefdom, and what's left of the British Union of Fascists are more prone to side with the resistance than us. The only group willing to cooperate these days are the National Front. They may not be very popular these days due to well being well, it's not best said when the English say about them. We should meet them nonetheless. They will be vital in supporting our retaking of the Isles. Also a couple comments before we end. Um someone says don't go or use a sun gun just because you get just nothing but a lot of debt. That's unfortunate. And someone says we I should change the th sh thumbnail when I'd fight the OFN Japan and Burgundy, which actually sounds like a really good idea. And then big military, big army love, and more drugs. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll catch you tomorrow. We'll ho when we'll hopefully, hopefully have more time to take out our enemies and I'll probably already capitulate in our way. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.